from the command center in Minnesota, JW Sula, USA. We got something here, are you guys, uh, as you see, right there, batteries. Lithium batteries I was talking about from Battery Hookup, live on the channel. Stay tuned. Let's open them up and see what is inside. Well, this is going to be uh, LG Cam batteries. LG Cam. All right, guys. Let's take a look. Stay tuned. There you go, last one. All right, guys, these are the batteries. And they came with the stickers here. Woohoo! Battery cup. All right. And look at these batteries. These are just like the 18650 Panasonic, uh, the CGR batteries. That's how it looks like. So it says a lithium ion battery, 7.4 volts, 11 amp. It built in BMS in it. So. This is the deal. It has a very heavy gauge wire here, which you have to, it doesn't matter which one you charge, this one you discharge, the red is red, the black is black. You can draw, you can discharge and charge on the same wires simultaneously. It doesn't matter how you're going to do it. It looks like it's a 12 or 14 gauge wire size this one here the black one is a huge one as well it has a plug right here this would probably be about 12 12 gauge wire and it has a little one here which um you can able to charge either or so these are lg cam batteries according to battery cup specification and it's made in korea and finished in china so uh, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So rechargeable batteries, you see right here. And um, let's check the total that we have here. It's just like the ones I use on my 18650, 18650 batteries, Panasonic. I'll show you the battery pack I'm talking about here and the one I put on my portable generator. So I use the 18650 batteries, lithium ion batteries, or lithium ion phosphate batteries in that and let me show you the 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 remaining one i set up for a battery bank for 24 volts here they are so you see these are the ones i'm talking about lithium ion batteries the panasonic batteries so that's the specs right here 14.6 and these are 6.6 .6 amps. Those are the ones that are 11 amps. So I can able to pair all these batteries. Um, the only thing, those are 7.4 and they go up to about 8 point. Okay, is a 8 point. That gives me the 16.8. Okay. So I can series those. And hook them up together because I'm going to set up a 24 volt configuration battery pack. The max charge you can go 8.8. .8, so 8.8 .8 times is going to be 8.8 .8, 16. 9. No, I think it's a 8.9. Yeah, 8.9. 8. 9. 18. Yeah. So you're going to give us a 16.8. If we connect series this one both of them two of these modules that will give us a, a 12 volt system which is a 16.8 so if you go 16.8 times 2 that's going to give you about 32 33 volt 32 point something volt so we got two three four five six Let's check now. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So twenty of them we have in here. Just want to show you guys. This is uh, these are the batteries, and uh, this is what we're gonna be dealing with. 
and uh, stay tuned for more we can do on this channel with all these batteries i'm gonna build a nice nice pack again which we're gonna be utilizing with the boxes i have this box is right here which is uh lithium ion um lithium palmia batteries in here they work with these guys together so you guys see we have a 16 2 with this pack uh this system these are the boxes i was talking about i'm gonna see how many of them gonna be can get inside this box let's check it out i don't have to use these balancers because those batteries already have um a bms inside them so this is the way i want to set them up i can do this way set them this <clears throat> this way excuse me uh go in a series so take the positive to the negative here positive to the negative here just continue the string then i can use that heat um tape and tape it and come back here and do the same thing go back this way that way until i get the complete uh, configuration or i can take them this way and that way and i can sandwich them and see how many of them can get into this box okay so if we decide to do our test right now how many batteries we can have here so we know how much total gonna get inside this box and we set them up for our bill let's say we set them up this way to so just get a rough estimate or calculation how many of them we can fit inside this box nice and neat and we can have a better pack okay so i think i can able to fit six if that be the case i have to go eight so if i, I have to do eight right here four this and this 12 this and this 12 24 so i can have 24 volt four of them 24 volt four of them and parallel them so if i decide to get them all put together arrange well and um so i might probably have six on each here yeah i can able to accommodate uh 12 of them in here easily so having 12 of these modules in here that will make a big difference but i have to remember i have to put my disconnect in and these wires are really heavy duty so i can set up this one right now and we can have a disconnect probably on top here and get a um a control um usb charging port and uh, all the good stuff meters i can do this there's not going to be any play it's going to be really tight fit and everything's going to be nice so wire one two three four twenty four one two three four twenty four one two three four so wire them then four of them is 11 amps because you go series the voltage goes up the amp stays the same so here is 11 four of these here 11 amps another 11 amps so that gives you 22 right 11 11 22 then what about you thinking 22 32 34 no 33 it's gonna be 33 33 amps just this on the 24 volt so that's a nice power right there one two three four five six so 12 batteries so we're gonna end up having one two three four five six 
one two three four five six seven eight so we have eight batteries here so we can able to do one two three four five six seven eight eight and we can able to do probably 10 batteries on one box 10 batteries on the other box so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we remove these two is on one box okay we can get this all in parallel if we want to to give us the 12 volts okay connect this make a 12 volt system this and this this is 12 volt this is a 12 volt remember it's 10 batteries 12 volts 12 volts we have two more batteries here 12 volt so we connect them so we end up having about uh one two three one two three four five strings five strings of twos and they parallel them so we connect all these wires and they have built-in bms into them and that just make everything works better 12 volts like I, I was saying i want all these boxes to be on a 12 volt configuration so i can take this one slap it to the other one and add more i can do 12 volt one of these and just series these boxes to the other one becomes 24 volt i can do 48 36 48 volt in boxes in fives the way i have them here in five strings which is uh, 10 batteries here, two in series for 12, 12 volt in parallel, all of them. Look at heavy duty wires. They are stronger than the ones that I had for the uh, Panasonic and also for the um, um, lithium polymer. So I think we can do that, uh, heavy duty. I wish I have the uh, plugs like this and it's easy. These are the uh, male, I can have the female. I can just connect 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 but it's not gonna work that way we're gonna do it the other way all right thanks for watching and i might probably end up getting more of these so i can build because i have three of these boxes then i can make buy one of these boxes and make four of them so two of these boxes is gonna be um 24 um 24 volt and 36 the third one and 48 for the fourth one so i can just take these boxes interconnect them and when you charge them, they have BMS into them. They balance themselves. They control themselves. I can use a one charge controller and just parallel all this one. They're going to have the guys right here. I can able to use these guys right here. That's going to be my termination right here, positive and negative on the other side here. And this side where we're going to be connecting the cables for inverter or whatever. And this guy is going to be end up being um, the the terminals okay so that will be the terminals and uh that links each box to the other power transfer okay just use a uh, shorter wires and connect connect or stack them become higher and we get a 48 volt or 24 volt or 12 volt to pair all of these together now gives us more power they run independently and we have one charge controller put on this. I hope this one makes sense. And uh, I'm just rambling and all that stuff because I'm trying to uh, plan this thing and show you guys exactly how I'm going to execute this. It might change, but you will see how 12 volts independently is going to work. See, I can able to put all these as one battery, which is 7.4 volts. So it's going to be um, uh, 8 point. 8.4 then i have the other one 8.4 so that's a 12 volt 8.4 8.4 that gives that 16 point something 16 8 so two boxes so 12 volt two boxes 12 volts so it gives us 24 volts i can put all these to become parallel become just higher amperage 11 times 10 so see you have more amps lower voltage i can able to use uh, other stuff here that i want to do and stack them and stack them 
So we have more power, low voltage, higher amperage, or we go higher voltage, a low amperage. I can able to do a 48 volt here by putting all four batteries. These guys, two is 12 and two is 12. So we're able to put about eight batteries here for 48 volts. I can able to do that. Easy. Anything I want to do. So I will just get more of these. And I was seeing them on the website. Like they're really flimsy. They're small. But they are not small at all. They are, you can see how they configured. You can see like, a, you know, those 18650 batteries here. One, two, three, four, five. Five of them. All right. That's it. Let's watch and wait and see how everything's going to go. Right here from Battery Hookup, JW Solo USA. Thanks for watching. Love you guys all. And stay tuned for more to come live from the channel. And um, we'll get from there. All right, Battery Hookup. Ryan, thank you so much for your help. Love you guys all. Keep on doing the good job. Bye for now.